All right, so this is the K2GXT uh, high altitude balloon uh, system. And here we have our first board, which is more of our test and prototype board. And uh, quickly explaining the electronics here, we have two batteries, the sub battery and the main battery. The sub battery is dedicated to our cut down and recovery lights. And our main battery, which runs all the controls, the microprocessor, and, uh, and, and other functions, uh, APRS tracking, uh, it's on its own battery. Uh, it's optically isolated, uh, so we don't have any problems. Uh, this board right here will, um, will accept our commands. It will cut down the balloon and uh, has a fail-safe uh, timing cut down so that if we lose command with it, it will, uh, it will take itself out of the uh, air. It's a TI MSP430 uh, microcontroller that was programmed uh, here at RIT. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just send it through a quick little test of uh, command and control through DTMS command uh, using amateur radio. So uh, here we go. We're going to connect up the main battery, turn the whole system on. You can see here we have uh, a status heartbeat every second and interrupt uh, will flash this LED so we know it's on. And uh, the whole idea is that you don't need any user input to turn this thing on. Uh, that way we don't forget on the ground. <coughs> So now, uh, what we're going to have Ian do, since this is on a 90 second timer to simulate uh, five or so hours, uh, we're going to have Ian send a DC map cut down command. So go ahead and cut it down. So the cut down. And now this is uh, in flight mode falling, and this is simulating a uh, falling condition from its, uh, however high it is, 100,000 feet. And it will do this and uh, time itself out after the expected landing time. And uh, that way people can see it and hear it, uh, or just some indication of, uh, of, of this balloon being, being in the air. And uh, so we're going to have Ian send a command to, and, uh, to remotely stop the falling LEDs and buzzing. So now it is in uh, a landed flight mode and uh, it is waiting for our input. So there's no cut down, there's no external LEDs and uh, we are now driving out to find this balloon. So when we're within radio range uh, of the last GPS coordinate, which it should be, uh, which we should be within radio range, we now enable the recovery lights, which should be on for about 20 seconds or, or so uh, to help us find and locate this balloon. So go ahead and send the external light, uh, recovery light. And do uh, you want to stop them? And just as a note, this is only a test setup. All of these, all of these LEDs and buzzers and uh, a few of the other things will be uh, hooked up with wires to the outside of the balloon, and uh, and uh, uh, they won't be on this board here. That's why there's uh, big solder lugs here to uh, to do that. And uh, we're here just using a dual bander. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say the name. <laughs> Fuxing uh, radio here, and uh, using amateur radio. Uh, and that's the K2 GXT high altitude balloon.